street. He has no products available, but he says do see him for flyers and business cards, and he's more than willing to accept donations. <laughs> You must be from Brooklyn. Okay. I ain't got no product, but here's my flying business card, and I'll take a donation. That's gangster. That's gangster. I love this brother to death. He's about to come up here and just do what he does. So what I need you to do is a start. Take enough the energy to be welcome to the mic, the one and only D Black. He keeps clapping so he gets up here. Non-existent. <laughs> All the rappers are white now, the new enemies of the system. Platinum has been changed to blinking light chains. Cash doesn't exist, they'll just scan your wrist. All the back of your neck, underage premarital sex, are now illegal acts. No more welfare, forget wit checks. Social security! <laughs> until you die. Literally, coroners are stationed at job sites. Reality TV top rated, though we know the episodes are scripted. Ethnicities have been wiped out. Whole new bottle wax now. Income is the only color. Just the haves and have nots. Jay-Z and Beyonce adopt. All the kids Angelina forgot. The word nigger has now been allowed to be used in commercials. But spewing other racial epithets will now get you arrested. Way to go, niggas. Cell phones are now sold via skin injections. So just tap your temples if you're trying to catch reception hello. Bathroom breaks at work are now being timed. So consider yourself fired if your minutes exceed five. Cops are allowed to taser. Mm -hmm. You good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Bus and train fare evaders. But since the one-way fare is now fifteen dollars, can you really blame strap hangers? Right. <laughs> All right. Flavor, flavor. <laughs> Was it the new staged rendition of buckwheat and got nominated for a Tony? But when asked for comment, he simply stated, that's okay by me. <laughs> Companies have done away with privacy policies since we all go online and give away our privacies freely. <laughs> it's now acceptable for multiple dark-skinned models to be in the same music video. The only stipulation is that they have to be fighting, though. <laughs> Due to fear and distrust, Wall Street is now a park. Mount Rushmore represents the first 150 years of the U.S. But spray painted across it one day was the question, what about slavery and injustice? Mm -hmm. Think purchasing a natural resource like bottled water seems a little absurd? <laughs> well, now you have to purchase bags of fresh air mm -hmm. wow. yeah. that go for only a quarter. The United Countries of Africa elected their first president last week. He was assassinated this week. The spirits of President Coolidge, Harding, Eisenhower, Jackson, and Lincoln were all found screaming, Obama was not the first black president! And move over, AIDS! <clears throat> What? This just in. Scientists have now discovered that the miseducation of the Negro mm. is the new leading cause of death amongst young African Americans. <laughs> and the number one hit program on TV, as if you didn't know, no, <laughs> is You Can Twain Like Me. <laughs> <laughs> a, a reggae dancehall series. And Justin Timberlake is the host. So as you can tell in the future, 
as soon as you can tell in the future. Some things have changed, and some things have remained the same. Once again, welcome to the future. I hope you enjoy your wow. stay. Mm. Wow. Peace, family. Peace. Yeah. Peace. Right. Uh, my name is David Roberts, actor, spoken word artist. The spoken word, I go by the name D Black. Yeah. Black. Go ahead, brother. Some fun oh. right here. Um, really quick. Uh, by a round of applause, how many people have ever read the book To Kill a Mockingbird? Um, second question. How many people have ever read the book The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn? Oh. Wonderful. 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 And uh, last question. How many people have ever read the book The World's Great Men of Color? Where can I get that, man? Where can I get it? We're going to talk. We're going to talk. Uh, the name of this piece is entitled Curriculum. <laughs> Interesting how books like To Kill a Mockingbird are still on our kids' school curriculum, as well as Huckleberry Finn. But yet, books like The World's Great Men of Color never seem to pass before them. Shocking. How our youth have to learn about our humble beginnings in this country, but not the greatness that stems through them prior to slavery appalling. I know. How it seems that teaching blacks to be excellent is second to blacks being subordinate, but yet it's still a black man that was voted into office upsetting. That's right. That's right. How black folks are so familiar when it comes to the movie Roots, but I have as of yet to see a movie about Imhotep, it's as if. <laughs> Black folks have been mentally slow. Down. On purpose. And I forgot to take my Ritalin. Ain't this some mess? Garbage. Rubbish. Whatever you want to call it. Why is it a part of Black folks' syllabus to have mental, to have success deficits to come short in society? To remain under Paul. To be oxymorons like being happy because I'm the head nigga in charge. Breeding ground classrooms for fact front as factories. Creating scared children of color before they hit their teens. Stage one of the assembly line. Make the youth used to being called niggas. American classics demeaning blacks help the youth to do this. Stage two. Make sure that their history begins with nothing other than slavery. You see, limiting one's greatness heightens insecurity. Wow. Stage three. Promote material wealth as their only means of salvation, making them hamsters in circles, chasing man-made paper. And before you know it, they'll have you eating putty out of their hands. Because history won't begin with our greatness, but with their grandstand. And you'll wonder why black folks watch movies like King Kong and can't make the correlation. And you'll wonder why black folks watch movies like District 9 can't make the correlation. What? And you'll wonder why black folks watch movies like Avatar can't make the correlation. And I wonder why black folks watch movies like Precious and laugh at the sensitive parts. I wonder if they brought back the movie Birth of a Nation, how many black folks would support? Oh, I can see it now. Black folks sit in the crowd, nudging each other on the arm. Hey, yo, nigga, that look like your mom's. <laughs> Shut up, nigga, that look like you. And that's how we do. We've been taught that our beginnings are less than dirt, so we treat each other like granite. Below the surface, terracotta spitting on our pyramids, but like Jay-Z to Sean Carter, you can't have one without the other. So tell me, why would you give a book to a black child about black pain, but not give him a book about the black success that came before it? Uh, yeah.